Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I have for you a beginner's guide to gear, progression, and the trait system. So I wanted to touch upon um, for you new players out there because this game is just about to be released over here in the West. So I wanted to just quickly touch upon, um, as simple as I can, on what you need to do to um, enchant your gear, to level up your gear, and then what you should do once you've leveled up your gear to the maximum level, what you should do then um, when you obviously come across better gear that you're interested in using. So yeah, stay tuned for that. As, you're, as always, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the video. Let's go. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about gear progression, like I said in the intro, and then we're going to also touch upon traits as well. So what you need to do is you obviously need to, as you're going through the game, you're going to be getting gear, you're going to be having green gear, then blue gear, and then epic, you know, purple gear. So if I go to the uh, inventory, what I did do was I went ahead and crafted this green cloak just for the purpose of this video to show you. Um, and I'll also mention, so what happens is when you craft a item, you you get a randomly RNG assigned trait. So you can see I was given mana regen, which isn't the best trait at all. But what I wanted to touch upon with traits briefly was the traits when you're like leveling up uh, are not that important. Unless you're a PvP, PvP player, um, you want to then you're going to want to obviously focus on your traits but don't worry about it too much whilst you're leveling the reason for that is because you're going to be changing your gear constantly throughout the leveling so obviously when you hit level 50 and you start doing the level 50 dungeons and you start getting the better blue items and the better epic purple items that is when you're going to want to obviously start to trait the said items and go for you know evasion or endurance for defense and obviously you're going to go for stuff like heavy attack chance hit and critical hit on your weapons those are the important traits but i'll go back to that in a minute so to level your uh, gear you're going to want to go to the equipment chanting menu enchanting menu now the game does touch upon this as you're leveling it does briefly introduce you to to this um to like as a mini little guide it gives you but i just wanted to showcase this to you just to make it a little bit easier for you to understand now you're going to see this menu here level up transfer and trait so what we want to do for now is level up so you go to here you click the set item you're wishing to level up you're going to need these quality armor growth stones now obviously each one corresponds for each um piece of uh, equipment so this is a armor piece so you're going to need obviously the armor growth stone then you have obviously a weapon growth stone and a uh, jewelry growth stone now you're going to be getting these throughout the game doing the main story quest going into the um solo dungeon here titles tower you get loads of these doing this as you can see you get green ones and then you go further down they give you blue ones and then you go further down and then you get obviously purple ones now you can also craft these which i'll show you as well so if you go to the armor crafter in any main main uh, town you can see here if you scroll down you can, you've got the choice to make the blue growth stones the purple growth stones and also the green ones now they all need these materials so you need green magic powder you need the green version of the stalon ore and then you need the green version of the polished crystals then for the uh, blue version it's literally the same thing you need blue powder blue stalon ore and blue polished crystals then again purple and so on and so forth purple powder purple stand on all purple polish crystals nice and easy right and you get these from you know playing the game basically so let's go back to the the menu enchantment level up we click on it and then all you need to do is you can just click level up and as you can see it's rng based on how much percentage that you that you go up now one thing to note if you're coming from like bdo black desert online none of these items will break so you don't have to worry about that 
you're not going to be panicking oh if i do this it's going to fail and it's going to break um no none of that jazz do it again so you can see this time i got a better one um it does actually give you the percentage chance so you've got 40 percent for common 30 percent for intermediate 20 for greater and a 10 percent chance for special now a special will give you a lot more hopefully i'll be able to get that if i show you didn't get it on that occasion so we're going to do another few more tries nope here we go special so you have to click the screen and hold it and then as you can see you get a much better increase in in your uh, enchantment so that is literally it that's all you need to do guys you just do this until you level it up to max so i will show you i'll just level this up to max you can also click this button continue until next level i personally don't do that um but it's up to you i'll do it for the video so you can see here it just does it for you automatically there you go we'll get this to to max level so you can see it has taken quite a lot of uh, growth stones so now level six this is now at the maximum level i can no longer obviously get, put this up but what you then want to be doing is i don't have a blue a boot a blue cloak on me unfortunately so you would go to transfer and then you would see you would you would basically you would equip the um blue cloak you would go to transfer and then you would see the green cloak here and then all you would do is you would click on the green cloak and then it what it does is it takes the a portion of the xp from the green cloak and it transfers it into the uh the new blue one so you want to always do that you want to always maximize your your, your gear that you're wearing so maximize your green then you want to feed that into your blue then you want to maximize your blue item and then you want to feed that into your purple item um, otherwise you're going to waste resources so just remember that don't make that mistake of just rushing you know getting new gear and then just getting rid of your old gear no make sure you always feed it into the next one up so and that, that goes for everything that goes for weapons and all armor pieces and also like jewelry pieces you want to do the exact same thing now when we go to traits go across to here uh, click on this you're going to see this here so we have three traits right now this this is new here we have um resonance effect i don't know yet if this because this is on the korean version that i'm currently on right now um on our version for global i don't know if we're going to have the resonance resonance trait so i'm going to ignore that for now if we do get the resonance trait in our version um i can always do another quick short video to help you guys and girls but basically all you need to know tldr for resonance is you need to have all of your normal traits maxed out and then once you have your all your normal traits maxed out you then get a chance to roll for the resonance trait that's it it's pretty simple but this whole trait system has gone through so many changes um since the game has launched in korea i've lost count how many times they've changed it but now you can actually choose you can literally choose what trait you want whereas before we had to literally just get lucky with rng and then keep on farming the a duplicate item over and over again to hopefully get the trait that we wanted to then swap it to convert it to the trait we wanted but then they realized the developers realized and obviously they listened to feedback and they understood that it was a, a bit of a it was a pain in the ass basically so they've given us the option to be able to choose what trait you want so you can see here if i want to get rid of this trait which i obviously wouldn't but if i did i can select it here and as long as i have um 100 trait unlock stones and then i also have 25 trait conversion stones i can then convert the trait that i don't want to the one that i do want and then the same thing with this is if you wanted to do a rng unlock which i wouldn't if i was you i would wait till you got the guaranteed trait conversion you just need a hundred trait conversion stones and then it will randomly unlock you know it's again it's you're leaving it in the hands of rng so i would not do that if i was you i would always go with the um with this one here with the guaranteed option yes it needs more materials 
but you can get this from just playing the game. So yeah, that is what I wanted to say about traits. It's actually very, very simple now. So for us in the West on our global release, it's going to be a lot easier to um, trade out your weapons and your gear to what you want. No longer, thank God, we don't have to worry about oh, the complete RNG. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to do a quick beginner's guide here to showcase all you brand new players that are going to be jumping into the game in the next few days. Um, you know, what to do with your gear, the materials that you needed, and obviously then uh, touch upon the traits. So yeah, like, share and subscribe. I hope this has helped, helped you and um, plenty more videos coming soon. Take care. See you soon. Peace.